Hi, this is Sam Barsh, and this is the next installment in my video series on compositional techniques for writing hip-hop, pop, and R&B tracks as it pertains to playing the keyboard. So today I want to talk about the difference between playing stuff straight on the beat and laid back or with some variants of how you play the figure. And I'm going to play the same exact chord progression with the same drum beat, two different styles. The first way I'm going to play it is very much on the beat, almost quantized, or it'll be so close that you could quantize it and it would be exact. And th that's obviously, or I shouldn't say obviously, that would be much more for a pop context, or if it's an R&B type progression, it would be much more on the pop side of that. Say like a Rihanna, who's an artist who comes from the urban side of things, but a lot of her music is straight up pop radio. And then the second way I'm gonna play it is very laid back behind the beat, much more appropriate for a rapper who likes to use old samples, or a more you know, traditional type of R&B song, but within the current context. So the drum beat is this. As you can hear, there's a little bit of swing in there, but it still allows for a difference in feel. Sometimes the drums dictate really how the music is going to sound over them, and sometimes they leave it more open. So this beat leaves it a little open. So here's the progression. First, with a straight pop feel. still with a human feel, still with the feel of an actual pianist, which as a keyboardist you're always going to have an advantage over somebody that kind of plays and quantizes everything. But with the feel of, with much more of a pop feel in mind. And as you're working with songwriters, you're going to affect how they feel by the feel of what you're playing. And if I'm in a room with somebody that comes much more from the pop side of things, I will be more likely to play stuff that way. Now here's the laid back feel. Same chord progression. There's actually a couple things that you might edit, um, like some of the rhythm stuff was a little off, but that's much more like what a sample would sound like. And a lot of those imperfections and the fact that it's so behind the beat really is appropriate for working with certain types of producers or certain types of artists, especially a hip hop artist who can really line their raps up more with the drums anyway. And the music can be you know, fluctuating as to where on the beat it is. So two different two of the same progression, two totally different styles, same drum beat. The end result is the bed, the track, is going to elicit two totally different results in terms of the type of writing that's going to be on top of it. Use appropriately and wisely. Thank you very much for watching.